YouTube, we have something weird for you today. This is a little flapping bird airplane thing. Okay, this is made by uh, Han Wang Technology Company. And this is called a uh, fly like a real bird, go go bird. It's for ages eight plus, whatever that means. So we're gonna open it. This thing's supposed to be yellow in color. I guess there's multiple colors. It's supposed to come with an included remote control, screwdriver, charger, lithium batteries, two of them, a quick start guide, and a user manual. So we'll see what's actually in here when we open it. Um, this is uh, this is gonna be a little different for us. I'm not used to reviewing flying birds, but I'm actually quite excited to see how this goes together because I'm just mostly curiosity's killing the cat right now. Okay, speaking of, our cats will hate this thing. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, they will. Okay, so here's the instruction manual and a quick start guide. Let's just look at this real quick. Remove the battery compartment cover and install two, not included, two AAA batteries. There's an on off switch, there's a little colored light. We're gonna try to fly this thing. Okay, so it's just white on the back. Okay, so we've got this. Pretty cool. Low battery warning is red. Other colors, indicator lights, okay? So it comes with a little one, char uh, figure one charging lithium battery. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, it's really pretty. This is yellow. Ish. Oh, looks orange to me. Okay, so it's, it's got streamers that come off the back. Oh, cool, it's got a little coil style rudder. Looks like it's gonna actually be pretty big. That's like a firm piece of plastic is what it is. It's extremely light. Oh. It's really cool. Okay, so one of the LED, or one of the batteries is plugged in, and then this is a push button, not a, not a rocker. Oh, so there's a little flashing light. light. Very, very small light. I'm guessing this battery is probably needing to be charged. So let's pull that out. Okay, so it's got a micro pH 1S connector. Looks like a higher quality battery than we're used to seeing in these things. Mm -hmm. Lithium ion. Lithium ion? That's mm. weird. 3.7 at 100 milliamp hours. This isn't a lithium polymer? Sure looks like a lithium polymer to me. Okay, so this is a warning. Remove and store the spare lithium battery from blister by adult before giving this product to child. Okay, so they're talking about a blister, blister pack like this. This is a nice blister pack. It's not foam. I actually don't really care if it's foam, but some people do. Probably a little easier to eliminate this if you want to get rid of it when you're done. Okay, so it's a real simple, nice looking charger. It says go, go bird input five volts at 0.3 amps and the output is uh, 4.2 at 0.3. So obviously these things are keyed. So when you plug these in, they need to plug in only one way. So let's go ahead and try that. Now we have other charging techniques, but we're just gonna show you the easy way, which is we have this little Asus charger. We always talk about this like every time we do these. Okay, so that plugs in there. We've got a little plug here, so we'll try that. I don't see, oh, there's a green light. That's pretty good. Real easy to plug in the battery. It's got like a long tip on it, okay? So you can't really plug it in backward, so that's good. Okay, so when plugging it in, it's still green. Let's see what happens when I unplug it. I wanna start from a powered circuit and let's try plugging it in. There's a red light and a green light. Okay, you see how I did that, folks? It wouldn't have started charging otherwise. So you need to plug the battery into the little USB yep. and then plug it into your charger. You got it, yep. Now this does come with a flat bladed screwdriver, which is like, wow, that's Whoa. awesome. We needed one of those. It's still got a hex drive on the back. I don't know why these all come from China like that, but that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this other lithium battery out and let's show you on this other charger. This, I believe it's a micro pH 1S. Okay, so I'm just looking at this. Oh, that's actually smaller, guys. I was gonna say. Wow, that's super dinky, so we don't have another charger. Okay, that's fine, but that means that we won't know what this charge is, so we're gonna have to wait a minute to charge that. Now, why do we need a, fill, or why do we need a flat screwdriver? What's that for? Is that Batteries like to get the, the battery? Back of the... Okay, so the first thing we always try to do is get the batteries charging. Yep. Okay, so that is um, interesting. ROHS compliant, what do they follow the rules and stuff at this company? Well... Okay, feels like a, like a video game controller. Okay, 
So then there's all these letters, or what else? It's like symbols. going circles, symbols, and then there's a button there. I don't know what that does. I bet the instructions tell us. Remote control, FYC 102. Okay, green, autonomous obstructal, what? Autonomous obst obstacle avoiding mode? Blue, manual remote control, and then flashing is low voltage warning. And there's a signal there, evidently. That's pretty cool. So that tells you that you've got attached signal to the bird. Counterclockwise circle. What? This thing automatically flies? That's crazy. I'll believe it when I see it. I yes. Don't, I don't believe these things until I see it. <laughs> okay, so these, this is really pretty. I thought maybe there was something to cover the body, but I guess the body, you just don't notice it in the pictures because the wings are always flapping. Look, there's an ROHS compliance sticker on here. I bet the manufacturer was super annoyed that they had to do that because this is so pretty and you get that ugly sticker. Plus this, it'd be hard to rip off of there. This thing is in the running for some like toy of the year. I don't know. Award. I don't know where. We'll find out. So I just, to satisfy my own curiosity, I gotta weigh this and see how much it mm. actually weighs. Yeah. This is definitely gonna be below 250 grams. So you don't have to worry about drone registry on this plane thing. Okay, so that the battery weighs about three grams. Oh, dang it. Here we go, 17 grams. Wow. Surprisingly, more than I thought. Really? Yeah, hmm. that's more than I thought, but still. I mean, it's got a big wing surface. There's two wings. There's one top and one bottom. Okay, so I don't know how long it's gonna take to charge this battery. So why don't we just, uh, let's just look at this. That's, that's a different connector though. I've never seen that yeah. pitch. And we gotta get batteries for that thing too at some point. Uh, okay, all right, cool. So basically looking over the instructions, there's a screwdriver. Remove the bolt. How to install the lithium battery. First you must use a screwdriver to rotate the bolt at the bottom of the go-go bird and remove it, figure three. What? Is it supposed to hold the battery in? I don't know, I took it out without removing anything. Well, I know. Maybe I like broke the rules. Is that supposed to lock in there? Look, there's a screw right here. Huh. Look at that. See this? Oh, you know what? I bet it wasn't locked. This can be turned. This can be turned and then it falls down. Yeah, that's what happens. Once you turn it, then that drops down. Mm. So then it's allowed to come out. This is so light duty, it makes me quite nervous. But I'm sure it's been tested thoroughly. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> so let's try this. Oh, there's a screwdriver that's needed here, but it looks like you can probably get away with using, yep, you can use the provided flat screwdriver to get out the Phillips screw. Okay, looks like it's gonna use two triple A's. So we'll pause and get those in our hands. Okay, so you have to provide your two triple A's. So take that into consideration when you decide if you're gonna buy this thing or not. <laughs> Do people not have triple A's, is that a thing? Yeah. <laughs> we are the freaks of nature. We have all the batteries you could possibly need for anything. We? Okay, me. Um, all right, so just looking at the back of this, there's actually English instructions on both sides. Obviously, we are tediously waiting for the battery to charge. So what we might do is we're probably just gonna go ahead and pause. These look like high quality batteries, mm -hmm. like better than average, yeah. but I, I've never seen that style of plug and I see a lot of plugs. Yeah. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we waited. It took probably about 20 minutes to charge. They said that in the manual, so I'm gonna just pull this USB stick out. Um, I don't know if you guys could make out the colors. It's really kind of hard to tell which side the colors are on. They're on this side. The markings are on this. Oh, right, actually. Hmm? You can see them. Oh, you can? Yeah. Okay, good. So we're gonna plug that in. This is the other battery, and we're gonna get that going. So obviously the red light goes out when it's done charging. Yep. So we're gonna use this battery, and we're just gonna go through the process of starting this. If you get the bird, the go-go bird, and it's not bound to the transmitter, meaning you turn it on and nothing happens, then there's a binding procedure. Um, this is full English instructions. It's not Changlish. It's readable technical information with the exception of a word that I don't understand <laughs> that is right here. It says something about, uh, what do they call that? No, it's on the other side. 
Where's that? The switch. The switch. Where is that? There's something about a switch you have to press, and it's a weird word. It was on this side, wasn't it? There it is. There's something about a switch you're supposed to, the some, somato sensory switch. Somato sensory switch. I don't know if that means, um, if it's supposed to say a momentary push button, maybe it's supposed to be that. I don't know. It's probably got something to do with the bird technology. <laughs> so let's look at how we put this battery in. It's a little bit weird. Okay, so that thing is what holds the battery in. So that's why they give you a screwdriver, okay? I'm not sure if that's good or bad yet, but this thing, if you kind of hold it vertical, it kind of falls down, okay? See how it falls down like that? Then this thing is key, just like your charger. Oh, but you can put it in either direction. Whoa, this comes with two batteries? Wait. Are you supposed to use both? There's actually two battery holes. I know. Crap, I don't know. Are you supposed to use one or two? Now I don't know. And by the way, they do um, recommend putting this screw back in, this little dinky screw, after you put in your batteries on your transmitter, okay? Oh. So am I supposed to use one or two? There is most definitely two. It doesn't say. Yeah, it doesn't really indicate. Well, let's try one and if it yeah, doesn't work, the then point. that means we're gonna need two. Okay, so. I think you could get two in there side by side. I think what it is is you could mount them either direction. Yeah, there's no way. It's gotta be one or the other, but you can mount it either way. That's pretty cool. Hmm. That's neat. That's good for Good thinking. Kids. They've really thought about a lot of things on this plane or whatever you wanna call it that I'm not used to having thought out. Um, it autonomously flies and all these different patterns and things. So we'll, we'll see <laughs> if it works. Okay, so this thing has a power button. Okay, now it's green. And then I have to press the, that. And then I think, it's, I think it's paired up. And then the way you get it started is you do this. I'm just not sure if I, I don't know because I can't test the control surfaces. I don't know what it's supposed to do. So in order to actually start flying, I think you're supposed to do this. Like you're supposed to drop it. <laughs> so the trigger starts the wings. Oh goodness. That's crazy. Okay, that's... all right, I gotta go over here so we have a little more room. I'm gonna go like this. And there is a sensor on top of this thing that's pointing that direction. So I guess, here goes nothing. Whoa, that is cool. Okay, when you pull the trigger, it stops the throttle, okay? When you pull it? So, yeah, okay. when, when, you, when you shoot the trigger, when you, do I have to explain pulling the trigger? I'm sorry. <laughs> pulling the trigger, when you pull the trigger, it starts going, okay? There's buttons on here that have like uh, circle patterns. So. Okay, so I pressed the circle pattern. Oh, that is so cool. That is really cool. Don't run into stuff, bird, what are you doing? I pulled the trigger, okay. So, I immediately noticed another thing too. So when you pick up this bird, which is weird, there's this little loop here, so that's a good place to pick it up by. You're not supposed to pick it up by the wings because you're just gonna screw up this plastic. Okay, so this is the trigger. Then there's little arrows that indicate which direction it's gonna go. And then if you wanna to go to manual mode, you press that and it goes blue. Or you press this and it's green, momentarily, not, not press and hold, okay? So I'm gonna press this and then just throw it. So it's still in the circular path. So now I switch the direction by pressing that button, that is so weird. And then if you double press it or you press it a second time, I think it goes a little bit more steep. That is so weird and cool. So it's supposed to avoid obstructions, but it's worse at avoiding dark colored obstructions. And small things. Small things and black things, so I don't know. <laughs> Which, okay, so now I'm gonna do a figure eight. I don't know if we have enough room. So there's figure eight. I'm not sure if it actually took my instruction. It might, there it goes. You're not avoiding obstructions very I good, bird. I think it bird. was trying though. Was it? Maybe. Okay, know. so a couple things I wanted to point out in that collision is that it didn't damage anything. It obviously, oh, it's got a rubber beak. See? Oh. That's cool. Nice nails. Interesting. Thanks. So I think what I should do is I, I want to, okay, I just want to see what happens when I throw it before I start the flying. Whoa, that's cool. It oh. actually does. Okay, so I'm in figure eight mode now because I think it's in the last mode. Uh oh, get off of that! Oh that boy! Would have been so okay, bad. so 
That would have been bad if it went up on top of that shelf. The shelf is not exactly the most easy place to get. No. So I'm gonna switch into, okay. I want it in this hand, I think. Okay. Yeah, I want it in I this hand, because so. that's what I'm used to. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go to blue. So the light turned blue when I momentarily pushed the power switch. And I just wanna see what happens when I kind of glide it. Wow, that's really surprisingly awesome. Okay, so I am controlling it. I'm in full control of where it goes. It does have, oh, that's backward, get out of there. Oh boy, oh boy. Back, what's backwards? I think when I pulled back on the stick, it went, okay, so normally on an airplane, when you pull back on a stick, you, it goes up and then you push down and it goes down. So it's like, that's down, this is up. I don't know if that's the way this thing works. So we're gonna try it again. Okay, so obviously when you push it left, it goes left. When you push it right, it goes right and you lose altitude. Get out of the tree, bird. It's a little bit more challenging to control because it still wants to cover more ground. I love the way it flies with the wings together. That's really cool. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, that's really neat. Okay, so see, you can shut off. You can shut off the flapping and it'll just like dive bomb. It's really cool actually. Okay, this is a weird toy, okay? I'm gonna admit. I do airplanes, guys, but this is really kind of fun and weird all at the same time. I did not expect it would fly in this room very good. Because it's actually not very hard to fly either. It can be flown outside, right? Like it's not. Yeah, you can fly this outside. Right. Okay, you notice what happened? It flipped upside down and it shut off automatically. I don't know if it's gonna start back up. Okay, so watch this. Flying, off. Oh. We have some helicopters that could really use that feature. <laughs> no kidding. Okay, so this is the little sensor, the obstruction avoidance sensor. Then look at the gear set. That is so cool. Let's go by the light. Maybe they can get a better view right under the light. Do you see this? Look at that thing. That's crazy. That's really cool. It mimics the muscles, the breast muscles of a bird. And there's, there's one gear set here and then it spins the other two big gears. It's really neat. I mean, you can, I've just never done this. And then this is, this is the rudder, okay? So it's got a magnetic coil and then there's two little magnets in that assembly. So I think when I start it, watch what happens. When I move this stick, it moves the rudder. It moves a lot of air. It does, it's really cool. It's surprisingly neat. But you can't really go up. Well, no, right? it's not, it's, it's, it's just like the other little airplanes that we fly inside. Right. Holding it by the wings is not good, but I'm holding it by the fiber, the carbon fiber here, okay? So if you're gonna hold it by something, it'd be better to hold it by the chest or to hold it by the tail. That seems like really not good with it. Now there's also a slower flight mode that you can do too, where you can actually change the pitch of the tail. Let's look at that for a second. Um, I'm trying to figure out how this exactly works. I think you just pull this thing out here. It seems kind of delicate on this step here. I'm not sure exactly how to change that, but you can change this position a little bit. We'll pause and see if we can figure it out. It's out, there's two holes. There's a detent there and a detent there. One is higher speed. So the higher speed on the inside and then the lower speed on the outside. So what this is gonna do is that's gonna change how far back the tail goes. So it's gonna produce more upward thrust. Oh, so it automatically starts too. Okay, so I'm gonna shut this off. Oh. So you don't even have to press a button. So I'm gonna go into the circle flight mode. So I have to press this to get it green and then I'm gonna press circle. And I'm not gonna do anything with it other than just, oh, it didn't do it. I gotta go up and then down. And it said when you were um, messing with that, it said something about like, it has an altitude hold sensor here. Oh, really? So you're supposed to release it like at the same altitude and then it should maintain it, supposedly. Okay, you ready? So this is in circle flight mode. Just so you guys know what's going on. Like I'm, I'm not doing anything. It's just like doing whatever it does. Like that. <laughs> oh, it didn't turn off that time. But it's not destroying itself either. It's not. That is really weird and cool. I don't know, it's definitely not an airplane. 
But it's also, I don't know. I feel like, is this thing gonna hold up? That's no. my other question. You can change the light color on the bottom. So if you have a bunch of these for your kids, you can make that green light. There's like six or eight different choices. I don't know where our cats are right now, but they are missing out. They are under the chair hiding. Are they really? Uh, I think so. That's really cool. So basically when you want to go down, you just shut off the throttle. How have the cats not attacked this thing yet? I don't know. They're probably freaked out. I don't know. So far, I think it's really cool. It's weird. Yes. It's definitely not an airplane. And it, but is it going to hold up? Yeah. Long I don't know. I'm going to push this tail back in. Okay. So show the people. I'm going to push this straight forward. Okay. See how the tail went forward? Let's try this again. So this is like the ultra speed mode. I don't really see a big difference. I don't see any different. I feel like that's slower. Did they label it backward maybe? Possible. I feel like that is considerably more manageable in here. It's like weirdly works good. Like how, of all the weird things you could build, why, why did they think of building a bird? It's really cool though. And I love that you can get up high and then dive bomb. Yes! right into your stove. You know what this would be good for? Easter baskets. Oh yeah, that would be cool. Actually, that would be cool. Yeah, because see, there's a bunch of different colors and then you can change the lights on them. Yes, yeah, so you can pick different colors of these birds. So, yeah, it's on the box. On the box. So we got the yellow one that looks strangely orange to me, but then there's purple, blue, and green. And then you can also switch the color of the light, the LED, we talked about that. So it looks like you can assign your go-go bird a signal light, a unique color when flying with the go-go bird to help distinguish them from each other. Press the up down button until the light signal changes. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Okay, cool. All right, cool. So if you're not sure which one's yours, you just press that button and it changes. Really cool. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna go into the, I don't know about the obstacle, uh, Avoidance. Okay, so there's like white. There's. Oh, you can change it while you're flying? Yeah, you can change it. It just doesn't seem to get hurt though by running into stuff. I thought for sure this thing was I gonna know. break as soon as we hit something. I did too. And you see how the wings are separate? I don't know if it'll get upset with you for. I would store it with the wings together. Okay, it's trying to go in a circle this way. I wanna try to set it to go the other way now. So I think you have to be flying in order to actually get it to do that. Oh. So I'm pressing this little button. You see this? That's counterclockwise, that's clockwise. Okay, I'm gonna go counterclockwise. I kind of prefer to pull the trigger to start it. It just seems more reliable that way. And then once you get it flying in a circle, you can still impact change with the joystick. So whatever direction you want it to go, as soon as you let go, it just goes back in a circle. Oh. Which is pretty awesome. It's just like strangely not hard. This is definitely gonna be a camera crew sort of flight. Oh jeez. Yeah, you, you gotta try this. This is weirdly not hard. So, all right, camera crew, are you ready to do this? Everybody no. always asks you to fly these things. <laughs> so we're gonna fly this. Yeah, you're gonna fly this weird thing. Okay, are you ready? No, okay. Okay, we'll pause and get reset. Okay, so the camera crew is back. She is gonna attempt to fly this thing. And so I've been giving her some phenomenal instructions. She was not paying attention <laughs> at all. I was she was filming, she says, I'm she busy. claims. Okay, so now if you notice a der derogatory change in the filming quality, that would be my problem. Yes. Okay, so there's a button that's a trigger. Okay. Now remember, when you move that bird up and down about 12 inches, it will take, it will start flapping. So be, it's gonna scare you, okay? Are you ready? Uh-oh, one of the vicious killers is oh, out. She found it. Okay, okay, let's go. Are you ready? Remember, oh, oh boy. Oh boy, get your finger on the trigger. On the trigger? Yeah, pull it, pull the trigger. Oh, see how to do that? Oh, okay, so it's stopped. Okay. okay, all right, are you ready? All right, do it. Oh, mm. see, I almost crashed it Now right move away. the stick and try to avoid running into things. Okay, now pull the trigger when it's high. See, you can pull the trigger oh. again and it'll come right back on. Okay, all right. Okay, Hold so on. the camera yes. crew is very concerned about this. She yeah, says, stalking me. I don't play things. I don't fly things. The cat is finally taking notice. What do you think, cat? 
Do you think it looks delicious? Okay, go ahead. It's like the weirdest toy. Uh-oh, wait, wait, wait. uh-oh. Oh my goodness, what'd you do? Did you kill the bird? <laughs> Did you yeah. kill it? Okay. okay, all right, you ready? How do I change the circle direction? Look at the little controller. Let's look together. What am I going now? I'm look going that way and I need to be going like that way well, probably. Well then maybe you should move, move that. And then you can also move the stick whatever direction you want it to go. Okay. So get your hand on the stick. There you go. Yeah, yeah, see? See how you kind of move the oh, stick? Okay. Oh yes, the cat is chasing it, awesome! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Callie. Don't eat it, cat! We have to finish this review first! <laughs> We're not done. Okay, so you guys always want to see the camera crew fly. This is as good as it gets, people. Yeah. I'm sorry. She's a pretty awesome flyer. This is not my thing. We used to have a Yorkie. Oh, there's the cat. Oh, goodness oh. gracious, you don't have to throw it forward. Sorry. Didn't you listen to the Chinese instructions that were perfectly oh, oh, oh. English? Oh my goodness, what do you do? Here, I'll get it, I'll get it. Oh, that cat is gonna totally attack. What do you think? Okay, all right, here we go. Sorry guys, I've got all the camera crew's goodies. You do. So it's, I'm learning how hard it really is right now. It is. And not in a good way. Are you ready? Oh, sorry. It's going not the way I expected it. You to have go. to kind of encourage it to do what you want. <laughs> You have to hold the stick far to the left or far to the right and it will do what you want. That cat is totally gonna attack and it's gonna be hilarious. I'm hoping we can catch at least one cat attack. This is Callie, she's, our, she's a girl and she is feisty and she's also the one that likes to cuddle and be nice to us humans. And the other cats, we have a boy that's about, probably I would say 30% bigger. Oh, get it. Callie. Don't eat it yet. What do you think? And then we have a little one that's about half as big as her. Yeah. And she's the mean one. She's not mean. She's she, just. She is totally mean to me. She's, she's not mean to you. She's mean to me. Oh, get it. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, it's... if I wasn't worried about the cat, it would be. Not okay, so here. camera crew, do what? you want me to fly and try to tempt fate with the cat? Yes. No. Go. I don't care. Do okay. it again. Okay, I'll do it. Are you having fun yet? I, it is kind of fun. Oh, the cat just licked its chops. Oh no, the tree. <laughs> oh, there it goes. I don't think the cat knows what to do. No, she doesn't. That's hilarious. Okay, I gotta make like a circle. Okay, you make ready? A circle. If you can make one circle, I'm gonna call it a victory. Okay. All right, guys, there you go. Oh, oh no, not wait. behind the TV. Okay, we recovered it from behind the TV. Why does it go different than what I think it should go? That's what happens when you are flying radio controlled equipment. Why do you think I hit trees with airplanes? <laughs> Why well, I don't fly radio controlled equipment. Okay, go for it. That moves so much air, it's like a it strangely does. awesome amount of air. Hey, why could you get it to go up and I can't get it well, to go up? Well, I mean. I mean, I can get it to go up, yes, but not right now. It's not working. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Oh. Did you hit the cat? No. What are you, not a cat lover? I love my cats. Okay, so. I did do more than one circle. So, that time. all right. Show it's me the of, thing. It's kind of fun. I know it's fun. All right, we're switching? We're switching, yes. All right, guys. So we're gonna go back to the expert flyer back man. Back where I belong. She's such a good camera crew though. All right, I'm, I'm gonna try to get the cat to eat it. Cause that would be like the world's best ending to this video. Except the kids haven't even seen it yet. I know, but the cat wants to eat it. That would be the most fun. You see that cat stalking it? I do. Oh, it's hilarious. I love this. This is a good cat toy now. I had no idea that the cat would enjoy this so much. The cat, okay, so in the morning the cats, well, they go over here and they stand at that window, okay. Oh no, oh no, don't do it, cat, don't do it. Watch out. So the cats lay on this spot here and they watch the bird feeder. They all lay on the rug and like flatten themselves down as yes. much as they can. It's hilarious. And watch the bird. Okay, so I'm gonna do a crazy maneuver. Okay, so obstacle obstruction. Yeah, not so much. That is really cool.
The weird thing is it does really well when it runs into stuff and down the stairs, zero damage. So, yeah, I've been surprised. At... See, Maybe it just doesn't, it just fire. doesn't damage at all, which is really cool. It's just really interesting to see uh, a different type of toy like this. So it'd be fun if you're into flying, if you're yes. a dad or a grandpa or whatever, and you have kids or grandkids that want to like fly with you, but they can't, they're too young or whatever. Like this would be, this a would cool... be kind of a fun thing yeah. they could do. Yeah. It's not a drone. A little quad would probably be a little easier to fly, but this is a more exciting thing. I mean, yeah. I love airplanes myself. So I want an airplane to fly, but this is really cool and different for us. So it's, it's exciting. And the cats like it too, which is really fun. Now, I think it's crazy that it does this autonomous flying. And when I say autonomous, I mean like, okay, so it's going clockwise. When it comes around, I'll switch it. There's counterclockwise. Let's see if we can get it to do a figure eight. Oh no, <laughs> you know what? I bet's happening. I bet the battery is getting low. It's supposed to flash or something, right? But it might Solid be green? Green. No, I think on there it's supposed to flash on the bird. No, I, I know. Oh. That's what I was just saying. We're gonna do it until it does that. Okay. We've experienced a lot longer than 10 minute flight time. Yeah, it seems like it. Unless maybe we're just a little bit better with throttle management, I guess, I'm not sure. I really think that that most, oh. most, oh, 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 it just it dies. Wow. And by the way, get this, okay? This is a good feature. Come here. Look at that green light. The battery's oh. done. Yeah. So you can constantly annoy the cats in your life. Okay. In closing, Go Go Bird. Is it pretty cool? It is cool. I think it's really cool. Yeah. We're going to link to this thing in the description below. Is this going to replace your need for a beautiful Boeing 737 Max 9? I, I not no. really. But do you need this thing today? Yes. Click the link, buy one for yourself. Super fun. If you have cats, they'll enjoy chasing it, possibly eating it. You may want to get two. Um, I, I don't know how the vet bills are going to be handled, but at this point I would say, don't put any catnip on this because it's not going to last long. Otherwise, very cool. I think it's awesome. I, I'm super excited to see it. There's your, your low voltage mm -hmm. warning. Really happy with the way it works. Let's see if we can take the battery out for these people before we close. Oh, okay, so okay. as usual, I'm Brian Phillips RC. This video is much longer than you thought it should have been. And that's okay, guys, because uh, you know what? If you got what you needed out of the first five minutes, then, uh, or even less, if you got what you needed in the first 30 seconds, that's good. I mean, you should have been able to tell from that intro. Now let's put this in the other way, okay? I notice you can kind of bend the tail and just stick that would be better. It's a lot better than having to manipulate that stupid thingy bobber. Yeah. yeah. Does it only go one way? It's definitely, it oh, be. you know what? If you go that way. You gotta go in from the other side. Yeah, you gotta kind of reach from the other side and stick it in the hole. Except I got Ooh. that wrong too. Yep. So now let's try this. Well, it's, yeah, I know. You put it in the wrong hole, it's, you're gonna get some feedback. I don't know which direction I'm supposed to do it now. And I did not take that little screw down. So we're gonna see if we try this again. I just don't wanna to have to take that screw down. Do I, I know. have to take the screw Could down? Could you take the screw down yes. and leave it? Yes, I got it without. Okay, so now I have to move the supposed momentary button, whatever it was. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> oh, by the way, there is a key. There is a, a vertical bump and then a vertical bump. Those are the two that you line up. And then stick that in, it goes to charge mode. And then to get flying again, this is already on in this case. This will shut off after 12 minutes if you forget. 12 minutes of inactivity, okay? So I'm gonna press the Sapaza momentarily button. Just make up our own words now. I don't know, it's kind of like a cornhole move, if you ask me. Is it on? I don't think it's on. Come on, did I not get the battery in right? Okay, so let's try this. Oh, there, I, I see lights. I just don't see anything new. Oh, there it goes. Okay. The light turned green. Yep. I wonder if you have to turn the Here. little radio off and then back on. Oh, or whatever let's try that. Thingy. I want to teach people the problems you're going to have. 
Okay. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, so I turn this back on. Now it's blue. Now it's green. There it goes. Awesome. Totally cool. Okay, so when you get done with your first battery charge, if you notice some sort of, that's the worst thing you can do to this thing is grab it by the film because it's very thin. Mm -hmm. But if you have to, if you have to grab it, grab it by the carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. It seems to be a lot stronger. So guys, in closing, very cool little toy. Definitely get one today. Check the link in the description. You'll help support the channel and you'll help to en enable us in our efforts. Anything else, Cam Crew? That's really cool. Yeah, I think so too. You have to buy one per person. One per, yeah, that's household. right. If you got six people in the family, nothing better to do with your stimulus money than to buy hundreds of these. <laughs> Come back for more.